So we got another one, everyone. This one is an F-350. And uh, man, I've just been eating these F-350s and 650s and Cummins lately like crazy. It's weird, I never get heavy stuff. Like ever, ever, ever. And, um, but this sure is a heavier truck. And the funny thing is, is that whole bumper right there was collapsed into the wheel. So I was actually able to uncollapse it. If you can see when he drove over here where he was sitting, he had started eating in there. So if this ever happens to you guys where the bumper like that digs into there, just do what I did, put your wench line right on the bumper and I was able to pull it from here all the way out, right in front of them. They're gonna put a new bumper on it anyway. It's metal, it bends back and it bent back like nothing with that wench. So now I was able to clear and steer it and I'll be able to unsteer it without having to use the skates and the whole rodeo. So look, now I got more than enough room and you can see right there, it was most definitely tearing into there because it was all the way collapsed. I just couldn't shoot it because the customer was sitting there and sometimes it's a weird vibe. He was already mad because he hit the person in front of him. So uh, that's why I waited. So I did that just to share a little bit of knowledge with you guys. As always, please like and subscribe. And um, you know, if you get caught up and it's all rubbing up in there, as you can see all the coolant, everything's all dipped out. Um, just, you know, throw a winch line on it and bend it out. I've used that method on more than one occasion. GT out.